Morning everyone, I'm on a solo mission today, CH-64, sorry, in Little Neston, uh, over on the Will. Very cold this morning, so I'll just show you the problem the customer's got. The blockage between two manholes, from here, which is where we're going to draw it from, down to nice full one here, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to draw it out, unblock it, but the customer's told me that there are several rods lost in this uh, in this short distance, so we will clear it, and then we'll get the camera out, have a look for the rods, and then we'll try and get them out, see if we can do that. Got a busy day? Uh, not up to now, but it can change. Oh, right. This has got to come out now. We'd like to think so. It's okay. Get that. I need to get in there, but it's quite deep. Let's have a little go. so bad in here. No. That's pretty solid. Pretty so, solid? Yeah. What I'll do is try and unblock it first. Alright, okay. And then we can uh, try and retrieve that. Right, okay. At least we know where it is. Go the unblock first. That ain't coming out the way it's just the way it is. Okay. We can extract them now. Yeah. There we go, folks. That's how you oh, do it. Good start, man. Oh. Trusty mole grips. Let's pull them out. Let's see. Low, oh yeah. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You did say six, seven, seven. <laughs> okay. What's that eight? It was huge. block and going out. Yeah. 
move now. Okay, it's okay, it's start to. Let's get a few more buckets down. Now you've just got a gradient problem down there. And we can go and have a look at what comes up on the camera down here. Nice. Let's have a look. Certainly with it being on an angle. It doesn't help, does it? No, no. You've got a slight drop there. Okay, three metres now. It won't be long before we're coming out of the other manhole. See, like you say, you know you haven't got a problem going out because you've never had a blockage there, it's just here. Right. Now there we go. What's this? Let's see where that goes now. Right, so now you've got... You're holding water because you've got a joint there and your pipe's dropped a bit. See there? Yeah, see it. So that's a joint because you're going down an angle now. Okay. Another angle. Another joint there, see there? Just yeah. before you come out into the manhole. Yeah. And then we're in the manhole. Let's just re you got a, your joint has moved. There. Right. It's moved. So it's it's dropped a bit. See where the joint's separating there? Oh yeah. So and it's again it's at an angle where it's everything's gonna hit it. So you've got a potential snag there. Not so much there because it's dropped the other way. It just seems to be on every bend, you've got potential snags, so I think this is the culprit here. Right, so as you can see, we've uh, unblocked, we've rescued quite a few uh, rods. <laughs> we've had a look underneath, seen a couple of, couple of snag points, which we'll uh, try and deal with. So uh, that's it for this one, and uh, on to the next, thanks. Debris obviously falls down there and then you've got to get a jetting team in to come and remove that debris. And we have to dig down, take the shaft completely out to get them clean, it's a, it's a, it's a big job. We've got to dig round, take all the sections off, dig them right back to the pot, clean them out. I'm Nigel at Drainfast, um, and I'm the R&D director. The Microsoft range includes a couple of different options at the minute, one to cover the 450 chambers, and they're aimed to collect the dirt and stop it from getting to the bottom of the chamber and aid easy clearance of 450 chambers and cut down on wasted time and money.